We're always going to have to be on the toes for the risk management side of the company, you know, be it peg currencies that could either peg break. We are a big player in Saudi Arabia. The currency has been pegged forever, but with oil at these kind of prices, it starts to come into the conversation of will that peg hold? You know, much like, you know, in the past during the Asian crisis with the Hong Kong currency. We have all the financial regulation, I think, is another key one that we have to stay on top of and the accounting regulations. I mean, we try to drive everything uh, through economics for our decision making. But in the end, you know, how it's accounted for in the books has a big impact. And we're seeing, you know, that change every year for what's off balance sheet, what's coming on balance sheet, what has to be disclosed in certain footnotes. So I really think the regulatory side is probably going to have the biggest material impact on how we how we conduct ourselves. That mm-hmm. combined with, you know, how the world evolved just in terms of growth and GDP and currency, does the euro stick to get hang together or do we have currency spinning off? You know, all those things will get sort of top door focus for us. The more constraints you put on, you know, the more doors are going to close. And I always kind of ran my career of, is this move or opportunity good for the Gary Maguire resume, be it internal mm-hmm. in Dow or external? And if, you know, I could answer yes to that question, then I typically would just jump at it. I wouldn't worry about the next role. How is this going to, you know, what am I going to come back to? What if I'm, you know, over in this country when the role becomes available that I want? I just was hungry and said, is this good for my career? Is this something I want to do? Boom, I do it. And that worked out very well for me. I I find a lot of mid-level career people are, they're just so worried about this move and the next one and how it's all going to fit together. And the world just changes too fast. What you thought you were going to do two moves down the road, you know, the company's merged, it's split off, the role doesn't even exist. So you have to be agile and just keep worrying about is the current job going to add value to your resume? The more senior part, I think the biggest piece of advice I would give there is to really, you have to decide if you really want it. I don't know many senior executives that don't pay a high personal price to have the privilege of those executive roles. Mm-hmm. And it's not for everybody. I mean, you are going to f- not be able to, you know, in most cases, coach your kids little league sports or, you know, whatever you want to do because you're constantly involved in work-related things, whether it's travel or after-hour meetings. At least that's the way it is at Dow. So you get to a certain level where you have to decide, okay, I love this. It's for me. And I'm you know, willing to make that personal sacrifice for this period of time. 